channel I'm in my basement where my seedlings are and I'm going to um, reorganize all of this this is my old organizer of seeds and I got two one for flowers one for veggies I got two because they're like 60 almost like 70% off so I was like heck yeah yes please so I'm gonna bring you much closer and maybe talk just very little and show you what I have and show you how I'm organizing it. Not that I'm gonna organize it super perfectly. I'm just going to put like brassicas in, in one little holder and like lettuce leaves in another holder and um, herbs in one holder, tomatoes in one holder. Um, yeah, and I'll put probably the tomatoes and the stuff that I'm gonna use this year on top and the stuff that I don't really care for on the bottom and I'll probably flip the envelopes, the seed envelopes for the stuff that I'm not going to be using this year. And then by flowers, what I do is, since I have two focal flowers of two boxes of focal flowers, I will put um, the ones that are ready to be started, seed, potted, started, whatever. <laughs> the ones that are ready to be started, I'm going to put in one container and the ones that need warmer weather, I will put in another container. That's for my um, focal flowers, but you know what? I'll just go over it while I'm doing it. How's that? <laughs> so let's just get started. Let's bring you closer and get into it. Okay, that took quite a bit rearranging because I wanted to still get my head, but like also get a lot of what I'm gonna be doing. So <laughs> yeah, it was a uh, it was a little while. It was a little while. It took a little while. Yep. I think. We will start with veggies. Let's start with vegetables. Do I want to peel this off? I'll peel it off at the end. I just want to get it off. Yes, I do. <laughs> All right. Let me move this. I got water from the plants. These are seeds and these are flower seeds. I just did a video on opening these floret flower seeds. Go check it out. Go check it out. <laughs> All right, these are herbs. Okay. Uh, flowers. These are flowers. I'll put those over there. All right, let me. get started <laughs> all right i'm gonna do tomatoes over on this side yeah we'll do tomatoes over on this side and i think these are all tomatoes um these are the tomatoes that i'm doing this year black crumb i actually already started these they're behind me literally as we speak germinating doing this one i'm doing this one and i got amish paste from my gardener even though i already had amish paste amish paste so i had amish paste from a couple years ago from 2022 and i got some this year accidentally because i wasn't careful so i'm gonna put those together and i'm gonna put this one behind it so that i don't use that one up first <laughs> Probably gonna split them up by types. So these are kind of like Roma. There's a Roma. This is a beef steak. That's a big tomato. This is a tiny tomato. Tamatillo. I'll separate that. Ah, this is a weird white tomato, which I don't really care too much for. That's a green zebra tomato, a hybrid. Random tomato, heirloom black kerm. I'll put that over there. This is tiny tomatoes, so I'll put that there. Here, more odd ones. And this one I grew my very first year of growing in 2020. And I didn't try any of them. They were beautiful. I got a lot, and I didn't try any. 
So those will go at the very bottom. And then I'll do my small tomatoes, my tomatillo, these large sandwich tomatoes next, and then my romas. This table is dirty and it's really, really, really cold down here. Oh man. This is the old one, right? Yeah, this is the old one. I'll put that back. Then I have my peppers. I'm going to put my peppers in this corner. And I think I'm going to end up needing two for my peppers. Yeah. I'm going to do sweet peppers in one container and uh, spicy peppers in another one. I've got my regular sweet potatoes. Potatoes, potatoes. I've got a jalapeno. That's a spicy. Chile del albon. That's a spicy. Um, poblano? A poblano. I'm going to go ahead and put it with like the spicy ones. Serrano. I'm going to put out the spicy ones. Uh, tiny ones, mixed bells, eggplant. I'm going to put eggplant with the sweet ones, but I'm going to put it at the back. Bell nose, red, another purple beauty. Actually, <laughs> let me organize this properly. I'm going to put yellow with yellow, orange with orange, purple with purple, um, red with red. Where do I have my purple? Okay, here's another purple beauty, another bell nose, um, a yellow, and jalapeno. Okay, so I'm gonna put these down first. Let me make sure we got jalapeno, another red and green, another red and green. Make sure I never get red and green again. <laughs> um, this is a knob, but what is it? A natapeno which is a not spicy jalapeno, but it has a flavor. It's just not spicy because it's a, it's supposed to be a spicy one. I'm going to go ahead and put it with the spicy stuff. Jalapeno, jalapenos. Uh, this is a spicy and a Zulu. I don't know what this is. Actually, let's read it. Let's read all about it. Uh, Zuli, Zulu, a unique, tasty, and beautiful Polish variety. This eggplant colored pepper, pepper is crispy with thin flesh. This sweet pepper is sure to please. We'll just put it with the pepper peppers. Pepper peppers. Okie dokie, out of chokey, and then the mix. I'm going to put it in the back, and then the eggplant. You know what? I'm going to put the mix in the front because it's super cute. Hi. What's up? You gonna hang out with me? Hmm? You gonna come organize seeds with me? No. I'm gonna watch you. I think you should come join me. Come on, pull up a chair. Yeah, sure. You can take a rocking chair. Okay, well, I can't really talk to my camera because I'm gonna feel crazy. Yeah, 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 that's right. okay. <laughs> okay, back to it. <laughs> So then I have my, um, <laughs> Jose's gonna watch this and he's gonna be like, oh, really? Back to it. <laughs> okay. Um, let me see my onions. I'm going to use onions in, did I use the yellow one? I did use the yellow one. Probably these two. Because I want just greens and brassicas over here. All right, you know what? Let's see what's in here first. Artichoke, is artichoke a brassica? No, because, what, what is artichoke? Whew. Long lasting and cool summers, as if. All right, we'll just go through this, see what we have, and then decide after where to put it. Look at all those seeds. Beets, I love beets. More beets. More beets. Carrots, carrots, carrots. 
carrots, 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 beets, beets, oh, beets, beets falling, beets falling. Um, where are the beets falling from? Right here. Doop, doop. Onions, onions, onions. Okay, so these are just all underground stuff. Hmm. Um, I don't know how good my Wethersfield reds will be. I need to go to Heirloom Market and get some more of these. Because I don't think that they're that great. Mm. I keep spitting while I'm talking. I don't think that onions come back well year after year its scientific name is allium sepa 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 allium sepa um, and here i have beans black beans corn asparagus eggplant eggplant oh that doesn't go there more eggplant cucumbers okay so beans can go in one one thing I think I want to get rid of my corn or maybe I'll just give my corn to my mom because I'm not gonna grow corn. or I'll just keep corn just in case oh, it is freezing down here freezing corn there what else is in here We've got greens. These are greens. Oh, I've got asparagus in here. So let me just take this asparagus out. I think I'm gonna, wherever I put my asparagus, I'm going to put my artichoke. Kale, yeah, greens, cabbage, cucumber. Put that cucumber there. Celery, where should I put celery? With herbs, celery, celery. I'm hoping that if I just <laughs> if I just say the name where I should store it should come but it's not coming it's not coming <laughs> this is green so we'll put that somewhere else this is uh, more green and these are herbs all right make a decision mm. peppers <laughs> I'm gonna put my eggplants with my peppers. Eggplants with my peppers. <coughs> I'm so cold. All right. Okay. okay. I'm going to do cucumbers. Are cucumbers melons? Cucumbers, melons, watermelon. Cucumber. Yep. Melons are gonna go with my cucumbers. My cucumbers. Man, is it cold. I think I only have lettuces in here. I don't I don't think I have cucumbers, but let's just just lettuce. Brassicas, where are my watermelons? Herbs? Oh, I found them. Oh, I found them. Uh, more cucumbers. Look at that. This is fennel Greek. Melon, melon, melon. Strawberries. Chives. Let's see what's in here. Herbs. Herbs are in here. Okay. So let's do strawberries at the back. Watermelon. Watermelon. Okay. I should start my watermelons and just the watermelons actually, because the watermelons um, take a very long time to grow. 
cucumbers not so much I think cucumbers I could probably just put in the soil as soon as the soil is warm um, but I won't do that I'll just start a few indoors at some point in my life cucumbers melons I should like just put the cucumbers with a squash but we're just gonna do that fruits and cucumbers together because it for some reason it sounds like they go together too and in this one, I'm going to put my onions and my beets and my carrots. And I think I'm going to put, change my mind. I changed my mind. I'm going to put my artichoke and asparagus in this pretty green and my dark ones my dark shade stuff is that called dark shade i don't know these dark loving ones i'm going to put in this dark blue That makes sense to me and then in my asparagus I decided I'm gonna put celery and I'm gonna put celery in the front because I haven't started celery yet there we are and I think in this purple one I'm gonna put my herbs all my herbs I might do herbs in both of these pretty herbs in one and herbs in the other one all right let's take them all out of here okay so maybe like flowering herbs should i say flowering herbs sticky notes i have parsley rosemary i know rosemary is really pretty so we'll put that there parsley chamomile i'm gonna put chamomile at the very front because i love chamomile lavender lavender i have so much lavender I'm gonna just put that there for now. Chamomile, chamomile, and then lavender. And then summer savory, I bought this in my first year of gardening. I wish it had the date. 2020, it does. Lemon balm, which I won't really care about. Chives are pretty flowers, so I'll put that there. More parsley, let me put parsley with parsley. Parsley, and then what was the last one? Parsley, cilantro oregano oh look cucumelons cucumelons will go with my cucumbers see this is why i put cucumbers and watermelons together because this is a mix of a cucumber and a watermelon no it's not no it's not <laughs> small cucumber like fruit look like miniature watermelons <laughs> good fresh or picked refreshing tart flavor i don't think this is a cross be between a watermelon and a cucumber i just think that this cucumber looks like a watermelon but we're gonna go with it's a cross of both i don't really know i couldn't tell you all right basil more chives more rosemary fennel greek more lemon balm you know what i want i want that grass oh, here we go lemon balm summer savory lemon balm german chamomile put that there ah. more lavender Ooh, this is a mystery seed oh no it's not a mystery globe spicy globe basil Oh, I'm going to put this with my, not my flowers. I'm just going to keep it in here. <laughs> I'm going to keep it in here because it has a flower and basil flowers are really pretty. And like I said, these are my pretty herbs. That's going to go back there. This is going to go back here. This is an herb. 
chamomile. <laughs> Another German chamomile. Let's see how many chamomiles I have. One, two, three, four, five. I have enough chamomile to never buy again. But I promise you, I will probably buy again. Oh, chives. <gasps> chives. Where do I have my chives? There they are. And then, you know what, I'm going to, when I go through my flowers, I'm going to put some of my flowers in here somewhere, probably here, to have flowers to put in the garden that were will deter pests. Okay, I think like I'm taking way too long. I might break this up into two different videos because I don't think you're gonna want to sit through an hour long video and I don't know how far along I am right now. So, um, one will be veggies and one will be flowers, probably tomorrow's video. Okay, let's keep going. I've got my pumpkins. Where do I wanna put my pumpkins? Where do I wanna put my pumpkins? I'm gonna put my pumpkins. I want to put pumpkins in this orange one, which would make sense. I am. <laughs> I was gonna say, but I don't want greens, pumpkin, and then greens again. But it's my container, and I can do with it whatever I want. <laughs> I'm very cold. Very, very, very cold. There. Look at they're just falling apart. They're just all falling apart. And then here, look at this one. Oh, that's not the one. Another one. Uh, majority, majority of them on the old one. These little flaps are breaking off. Okay, look at these pretty pumpkins. Look at these pretty pumpkins. I think at the beginning of my vegetable garden, I'm going to have a trellis. A little U, upside down U, and I'm going to put these on, and just hopefully they hang down, and then in fall they look super cute. Yeah, I'm just picturing the best thing ever here. Look at this one, and this big one, and this one. This is a sponge. <laughs> it's a loofah, which is edible at its if you harvest it early. This guy, because I want to make bird houses this cool guy and then I found these super cheap ones um, at the dollar store and I was like um why not <laughs> why not okay and then this is a veggie that I want to not forget to grow where am I gonna put it so I don't forget it I'm gonna put it at the very back facing the outside I'm going to put it down so that I can see it. And I have to flip-flop these because these have really big seeds. And they won't fit if I just stack them. Oh, one. Okay. That will go there. I'm like wondering where is, where is the pink one? It's right there waiting for me to put flowers in it. It's 45 degrees in here, and I'm not wearing a sweater. I should have been wearing a sweater. <laughs> okay. I know I'm gonna do flowers on this one, so I'm just gonna put these in here for now. lettuce in here so we'll just start there we'll start with my lettuces bok choy spinach arugula lettuce lettuce a brussels sprouts more spinach let's put spinach together Arugula there, lettuce, lettuce, 
Oh, this is a brassica. So I'm gonna put that over there for now. Lettuce. I'm gonna flip them. So I put my newer lettuce towards the front and my older lettuce to the back. Lettuce, lettuce. Oh, I have this. I just bought a pack of this. Look at that. I just bought a pack of this. Full. Full. Did I say full? Pissed. All right. Did I little? <gasps> Do you see that? Hold on. I don't know why I thought that all my lettuces were running super low. What made me think that? What made me think that? Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, another lettuce. Okay. Arugula. I'm a little low on arugula. Spinach. Beans. Spinach. Whoa. Butterhead lettuce little gem butterhead butterhead i really went and bought spinach like i was stressing about spinach because i positive i didn't have any guess what i have plenty more arugula more lettuce romaine lettuce i'm angry all right, this is this is not low, but for me, it is a little low. All right, Oasis, great job this year, incredible. Spinach, and then bok choy, that will go in my greens, my salad greens, because it looks like a salad green. I'm gonna split them and flip them not because they're big seeds they're actually tiny seeds but um there's so many at the bottom that they kind of stack up pretty quick okay um and then i didn't have any this is a black pickup so i'm gonna put it over here and i think i'm gonna keep the same trend i'm gonna put the brassicas in here put this little arugula sign right I'm actually put it inside here so that I remember to use that Is that my new one yeah that's my new one old one new one old one <clears throat> I was pretty confident that I didn't have any more Brussels sprouts but I looked the other day and I do oops Cabbage, kale, I'm going to flip them for Broccoli, ooh, look at Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Let me see the difference between these. An heirloom variety of Brussels sprouts originating in the Catskill Mountains. Catskill Mountains of New York, dating back to 1941. Plants are very cold hardy and will reach two feet tall. They form decent sized Brussels sprouts, each averaging the size of a ring pop ball. Sprouts will get sweeter with frost and cold weather. I should start these now. <clears throat> Ideal for first timers, medium to small Brussels sprouts. You know what? I grew these like this very packet my first year and I hated how small they were. But now this makes sense. Medium to small. So small. Sprouts. Easy to grow, steady producer. I might just go with this one again this year. More broccoli. Wall fam 29. What is, what is that? 1954. More broccoli. No. <laughs> Waltham, 29. Oh, we got some kale. We got some old broccoli. You know, for the amount of broccoli that I have, you would think I have, I'm growing broccoli all the time. 
No, I'm not. I grow it once and then I'm done. Cauliflower. I like cauliflower. I don't eat it often, but I like cauliflower. So I should really, really try hard this year. My first year I grew this, it did incredible. And then the the white part turned yellow and I was like, ew, I don't want to eat that. Apparently it's normal. So I'm really upset at myself for letting that go to waste. And cabbage grew my first year too. My mom took it and ate it. Okay. Let's even these out. Okay, beans. You know, for someone that doesn't have a lot of room, I sure did take the whole container. All right, I'm gonna put my green beans to the back. Peas, I'm gonna put my black beans in the front. I decided I'm going to keep these. I just decided in my head. I'm going to keep these because I'm going to make not a maze, but like a little area. I'm going to sprinkle them in and use them like a little barrier and not put any in the middle and then tie them at the top and make like a little teepee for Ray to hide in. Or I'm not going to end up doing that because I have a million and two projects going on. So probably not going to do it. <laughs> that's all of my veggies let me just put these back put these back broken and I don't think that these normally do that I just think that I didn't take good care of my container and that's why I did that and I feel awful throwing this out so I'm probably just going to post it on Facebook market for someone to take okay let's go through this because I think I'm gonna stop here for this video and I'm gonna do another one for my flowers, which I'm gonna fi film right now, but I don't wanna keep you for like an entire three hours, right? Okay, <laughs> I've got my tomatoes in this pink one. And then I left this one open because I love tomatoes and I could put extra tomatoes in here, but I just changed my mind. I'm going to put the tomatoes that I'm growing this year in this front container and then the cool funky varieties of tomatoes I'm going to put in the second container because this year I just want to get my hands back into the garden and get tomatoes that I really want and then maybe down the line I'll start growing like this um, green zebra I grew it one year or last year I tried it last year and because of the move I didn't really pay attention to them and they died my first year I grew cool varieties of tomatoes and I loved that but um, a storm hit and uh, a tree fell on my tomato bed and I got to enjoy a lot of tomatoes. I made lots of, um, I did lots of canning with it, but I haven't been able to do that again. The year after I got pregnant, and I think if I'm right, the year after I got pregnant, or I already was pregnant, and then the year after I had Rhea, and we tried, but it wasn't that great, because when I got really hot, hot, we didn't go outside as much, and my mom traveled, my mom helped me a lot in the garden, my mom traveled um, smack dab in the middle of the summer. And she's when she travels, she's gone for a long time. <laughs> so um, I didn't have too much help and I just felt too overwhelmed and I didn't go outside in the garden. And then the following year, I um, moved. <laughs> so it's been, uh, oh wait, I'm still going over this. It's been quite questionable. And then I have my peppers sweet peppers and this orange one it just makes sense to me for some reason orange and yellow make sense for the peppers for me and then i have my spicy peppers supposedly you should store your spicy and sweet peppers separately because they can like um intermix and then make your sweet pepper spicy i don't quite believe that you should also plant them separately blah 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 but uh, i've never followed it granted i've only successfully grown anything one year <laughs> um but 
I didn't experience that my first year and I had my jalapenos next to my, right next to my peppers. Green, I've got my cucumelons, my cucumbers and my melons and actually my strawberries too. And then I have my celery. This is asparagus and artichoke. My onions, anything that likes to be buried underground. So onions, carrots, and beets because the dark blue just makes sense to me. Herbs in this pretty purple. I've got flowers, flowering herbs, which they all flower, but pretty flowers in one herb container. And in, in the other one, I have like the ones that have mostly green foliage. And then I have this, I'm gonna put a bunch of flowers in, but first I'm gonna go through my flower. I'm gonna organize my flower ones and then put veggie ones, veggie flowers in here. What I mean by that is stuff that deters um, pests from my flowers. And then just cause I put my corn in here cause I didn't have anything in there. And then orange, obviously I put my pumpkins in. Yellow is empty and I don't know why I thought I was running out of room, but yellow is empty. Green for salad greens other pretty green for my brassicas my black beans and any kind of beans in this blue one and then again my purple one for my herbs and I'm gonna take the sticker off and be done with this one I'll probably take the sticker off another time because I don't want it to leave any like nasty residue oh wait it's not gonna leave any nasty residue hold up wait a minute time and I'm gonna take this in the house because it's freezing down here and it should be like held at room temperature yeah take it in the house and then let's work on my flowers but uh you will see this in another video on another day so for now for this very second and this very video goodbye but you'll see me in a couple minutes okay next time bye <laughs>